Okay, the purpose of this video is to show a um, drawing, how to make a drawing file out of a part that you've created on Autodesk. So in this particular uh, video, I'm going to create a drawing of this particular part, okay, that I have previously created. So the way to do that is I go up to my eye on the top left, that's the Autodesk eye inventor, uh, and we're going to create a new file. You can either do the new file by selecting it, or you can just use the shortcut menu and use uh, drawing as... Um, as it, but if you do the home screen, if you hit new, you're just going to get this screen. The one you're going to do is the standard dot i a uh, sorry i d w. Okay, so you create that drawing, hit create, and then it opens up a new file. And as usual, it loads a whole bunch of stuff before the video before the um, file opens. And then when it does, you get this sheet. Now, unfortunately, the default sheet that opens up when you create a uh, new drawing is far too big. This is a 17 by 22 piece of paper. We do not have a 17 by 22 piece of paper. We will not be printing on 17 by 22 piece of paper, so we're going to change it to a different size. The way we do that is we right click the icon next to sheet one in the browser bar on the left side, and we're going to select edit sheet. We select edit sheet. We're going to change to a size A, which is eight and a half by 11. Let's try and change it to size A. So we do that. It makes it a little better. You'll also notice that your name will automatically put it put in here, as well as the date that you create the drawing. Okay, so those things will be loaded up for you just fine. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to select base because we're going to place a base view of the part. The part that's currently open is part two. That's what I have right now. That's open. If I wanted to do a different part, I could pull this down or browse for another file. But usually if you have the part open and then create a drawing, it will default to that part. So I will select part two in this case. And I'm going to move this down because I have to select the front view that I want to use for this thing. Now the orientation, there's a bunch of choices of orientation here. Depending on how you sketched your part, the front view may not be the front view. Okay. So for example, I'm going to kind of play with this. I don't want that to be. I, I have an idea what my what I want my front view to be. And it's not that. It is that. That's the front view that I want. So in this case, it's the right side orientation that I actually would like to be my front view. Your results may vary. You may have to play around with this. And what I usually do is I drag this drawing view window down and then hover over my sheet so I can see what the front view is going to look like. I can just mouse over it without clicking and see it there. If I don't like it, I can go and select a different one. Okay. In this case, most of the time, your ISO top left, right, bottom left, and bottom rights are not going to be the front view. But it is what it is. When I select the front view, I figure out which one it is. I go back to my drawing and I'm going to click on the bottom left corner ish of the drawing. Okay, I need to make sure I leave enough room for my dimensions. So I do that, I click. Closes that window, it's going to place where my front view is going to go. Now here's the cool part that's my front view. How about my top view? Drag my mouse up, there's my top view. How about my right view? Drag that to the right, there's my right view. How about my isometric view? Drag it off. There it is. When you're done, you've placed all four of your views. You right click, you select create, and it will draw all of the views for you. How cool. How cool, right? So the other part, well, the good thing is, since uh, somebody says they have no idea what I did, well, if you're here at this point in the video, which is three minutes and 40 seconds in, just go back. Rewind to the part where you figure out you don't know what you did, right? So that's all you have to do. The second half of this, when you create your drawings, when you create your drawings, you have to add dimensions to them. You have to create enough dimensions to replicate the part entirely. Okay? So you'll need an overall height, an overall width, and an overall depth, plus any other contours of your part will need to be created as well. So in this case, I'm going to place a couple of dimensions on this drawing. Right there. Hit OK. And I'm just going to keep placing some dimensions. I've got my overall height and depth in this case. I also need, sorry, height and width. I also need my uh, depth, and I'm going to put my depth here on this. Actually, no, it's better to put it up here. And I some taste, some cases I have to do a point-to-point -point dimension. I'm going to do it here as well. Oops, that's not it. Let's try that again. Dimension tool, point to points. That's what I was looking for, point-to-point -point dimension. Okay. And I've got a couple of uh, features here that I'm going to need to show the size of as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose those in the front view. So I'm going to do 0.75 here. And I'm also going to do a 0.75 here. 
And then I've got enough overall dimensions, I believe. Uh, no, I need one more. I need one more right here. I'll put that right there, line that up, and that should be good. That should be a fully dimensioned part, okay? So in some cases, you're going to need about six dimensions on here. Your question will be on the video. What is it? This is the drawing. This is the creating of dr the drawings of your parts. So just like you'll have five part files, you'll have five of these drawings as well. For so your. How do you reach that? So that's if you go back in the, earlier in the video, you'll see when I open up the file. Okay. So I know you. Uh, this that particular student was not in the room for the first two minutes of the video. So that's okay. All right. One more thing to add in here. One more thing to add in here. Okay. And that's text. You're going to have to add some text in this title part of the block. Okay. What's that text going to be? In this case, it's the green part. For me, it's the green part. Okay? I hit OK. Title, green part. Okay? If you want to add anything else in here, you always can do that. But all you really need to add is what the part's called. Your name is already in here. The date is already in here. Okay? And that's it. That's the drawing. That's the drawing. You save it and try to keep the files, file names consistent. So if I use part 2 for the part file, I can do part 2 for the drawing file. Okay? The default name is the same as the part file. And that's that.